And speaking of looking good, this next bout, Ted, is going to be nothing but fast paced action as it's a special women's attraction. Really? Yes, it is. And I'm sure you appreciate the women's skills. I know I do. Oh, I certainly do. I mean, you know, a uh, little uh, wrestling trivia. Did you know that my mother was a lady wrestler? No, I did not. But I do know that she was the wife of a famous wrestler named Iron Mike D.B. Very good. Here we go. Here we go. Female First one. grudge match. Am I correct? You are right on the nose there, my friend. And there's our first contestant. Here she comes. Brandy Wine with her, get this, sugar daddy. Sugar daddy? Sugar daddy. That's an awful lot of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> they say a lot of sugar's not good for your weight. Uh-huh, and uh, it's obvious. Yes, you must be the poster child for that same. Not a bad view here of Brandy Wine, very skilled wrestler with her sugar daddy. I know I've seen the sugar daddy before, haven't you? Yeah, maybe it was a hamburger commercial. Oh, funny guy. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey keep it clean. Hey, hey, hey. that's uh, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with a little uh, hand movement. Didn't touch. Randy Wine looking like the blonde bombshell of the ring. And, uh oh, there's that summer teeth guy again. And here comes her opponent. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love, where they throw snowballs at Santa Claus. It's true. Not a lot of love, huh? Not a lot of love there, but here she comes. Look and at her. And who's that with her? Oh my God. Hey, that is boxing legend, and I do stress the word legend, Aussie Joe Bugner. He Get went out of here. He went 15 rounds with Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not a big boxing buff, but I knew that. But you knew the word Ali. Yeah. And for anyone to go 15, hey, George Foreman didn't go 15 rounds with Ali. Wow. But Aussie Joe did. So, uh, is that the reason that he's wearing that referee's outfit? Oh, no, no, no. I think mean, for him. hit a little bit too often, you know? Hey, Aussie Joe has you know always that, You know that joke, which one the referee? Uh, he has always met the facilities. I'll give him that. Okay. I mean, He's a, he's a good guy. Actually, he is here to be a sort of enforcer for Sweet Destiny because... So what you're saying is he's there to make sure the sugar daddy don't dis distribute too much sugar. Yeah, he, he don't get a little sweet if you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, he's there to watch out for the sugar daddy because this girl has been complaining of outside interference of late by the sugar daddy. I see. I see. Well, if this guy... Now, how old is... How old is... Uh, Ozzy Joe now. Here, here's some facts. He's 51 years old, but he just fought last year. My goodness. Do you believe it? Unbelievable. Proving that age is nothing but a number. So if he went that long with Ali, I imagine he packs a pretty powerful punch. And that's why he's out there. To make sure if the sugar daddy steps out of line, he jumps right back in it. I know I didn't want to get hit by a right hand from Ozzy Joe Bugner. You don't want to get hit by this right hand either, big guy. Hey, 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 I'm not, no, violence is no longer in my nature. Hey, you know what, though? If my memory serves me right, when these ladies start wrestling and they ring that bell, it ends up more like a cat fight. Now why can't I have that job? I'm in the wrong profession. Get that ice water back over here. Calm this boy down. There you go. Randy Wine. Hey, you notice the cameraman's getting some pretty tight shots. Well, hey, we don't want to degrade these women now. Let's keep it clean. These girls Hello, can wrestle. Here we go, right away. She's going for it. Quick. Going for the takedown. That's sweet destiny. Randy Wine. Bitter feud between the two. No you know, love loss here, Ted. You know what I can't understand about lady wrestlers? What's that? Why they go ahead and grow their hair so long. I mean, it's a weapon. So you're suggesting they should wrestle ball? Well. Where do you, what kind of women do you date? My God. Getting a little personal, aren't you? Yeah, not at all there. Uh, no, I mean, it's, I think it's a little legitimate question. I mean, you know, why grow your hair way out there that long just so somebody can grab a whole handful of it? You watch. Before this match is over, it's going to be a hair-pulling fest. I believe it. I believe it. I'll take your uh, advice on that, you uh, ring-savvy veteran you. You know, somebody told me you kind of like to get your hair pulled. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Here we go now. Brandy Wine. Getting very frustrated, uh, sort of like you, on a regular Saturday night basis. Well, the only thing frustrates me, the only thing that frustrates me is 
as you'll load back again. Oh! Oh! Here we go now. Oh! Nice, nice move. takedown. Very nice takedown. Very technically sound, might I add. Sweet destiny. Going to the arm bar now. Drag that last move. You know what that last move was? What's that? It was a drop toe hold. It was a drop toe hold. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Okay. You learn something new every day. Little education here. You can learn a lot from a demo. Here we go. Asking the fans. Oh, that's the see. worst thing, and that's exactly what would happen. Now let me ask you a question. If you were in a street fight, and you were. You finally got up to your feet and you had a chance to pummel the guy. Would you look at the crowd watching and say, "Should I hit him?" Of course not. Of course not. So that was stupid. Oh, face first. Face first. Oh, she is going to need a lot of makeup to cover up those black eyes. Knee across the throat. That's got to hurt the wall whistle there. You know, karaoke for Sweet Destiny tonight. You know, both these girls pretty strong, but uh, you know, uh, both of them could use a little bit, uh, a little bit more time in the gym, don't you think? Well, uh, depends your preference there, uh, Money One. I uh, happen to think both girls are very well rounded. Uh, I see. Both in and out of the ring. Hmm. Oh, like I said, hey, take it from. Taken from money bags, I knew it was coming, and that was just the beginning of the hair pulling fest. Now we see, you know, male wrestlers with long hair. How come they don't pull each other's hair? I don't know. It's a cat fight thing, I guess. Maybe animal instinct. Oh, that looked like a pretty low shot. Oh, right back at her now. Brandy Wine getting chopped, oh. chopped down like a tree against Sweet Destiny. Oh, fine maneuver. I'm very impressed. Very impressed with the high flying antics here. Reminiscent of the uh, Lucha Libres. Yes, this is true. Luchadores, they might be. Luchadores. Excuse me. They might be. The fans enjoying the ladies' bouts, as they always do. Oh, there was a Ted move. A little choke on the top rope. I'm sure you perfected that one. There we go. Well. There's that handle again, I'm telling you. Yeah, Mom and Dad watching the festivities. Randy Wine now in control of Sweet Destiny. Referee right there on top of the action. Make sure it's a legal chokehold. Oh. Oh. to the gut. I know what it does to men. Imagine what it does to women. Ooh, that's kind of hard. You know, you said you'd like to be the referee out there. I mean, the worst thing you could ever do is get in the middle of a cat fight. That's sort of give new means. Oh, over the top, crow's line, over the top rope, all the way to the floor. That's the best move I've seen tonight. That used to be a disqualification. You're correct. Hey, that's not bad. You do know some wrestling. Oh, my God, just pounding the head, pounding. I've seen an awful lot of furniture being used tonight. High generation wrestling definitely does not discriminate against household furniture. Oh, turn around is fair play. What she ought to do right now is reach back around her and grab that two by four. Oh my. Ah, too late. Oh, I felt that one up here. That ah. one hurt. That one hurt. Randy Wine with a little premature celebration, Ted. You gotta get right back on your opponent when she's down. Uh oh, setting her up for a power oh, bomb. Pile driver, power bomb, something here right on the floor. Here it comes! Oh, power oh she bomb. slipped, she slipped. But she still completed the move. It's all that matters. Hurt your opponent at any cost. It may not look pretty, but the result is what happens. Well, you're sounding more like me all the time. Well, you must be rubbing off on me. Can I borrow some money? I told you we wanted money. Checks in the mail. All right, you sound like my boss. Okay, back to live action now. They say, there you go again. What is it with all these people, all these prima donnas, going over there, standing up in the corner, talking to the fans? I like Don't that. ever take your eyes off your opponent. Oh, I think she's uh -oh. Gonna... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look at that. What was that? Who tripped who? That was Sweet Destiny tripping up Randy Warren. I like the fact that they get on the ropes like that. Gives us a better view of their skills. Oh, there we go with the hair again. Nice swing. 
Nice win. Their pulling is hot in female wrestling, that's for sure. Ooh. Oh, please. Pulling it out by the handfuls. Well, hair extensions are, are an option, that's for sure. There we go. Nice headlock. More hair pulling. There we go. Side headlock now. Sweet destiny. In for the ride. Brandy Wine. Wait, what is this? Oh, 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 over here. One, two. Oh, oh, reversal. Oh, reversal. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? A seesaw? Reversal. Wow, that was like back and forth. That was like, let's find out who's the most top oh. Well, that could be a toss-up. One had momentum low and one had momentum high. You said it could be a toss-up. Are you watching the same match I am? <laughs> oh. Wait a minute, that was a sugar oh. daddy. He's That's got no right. business That's involved right. in this match. Hey, things are gonna get heated up here now. What? Where's Ozzy Joe? He's supposed to be there to help, right? He is. Don't worry, Ozzy Joe Bugner is at ringside. You know the, the sugar daddy might have got a little poke shot in, but that's about all. He won't get much leeway with Aussie Joe at ringside. There he is in the ring, making sure Sweet Destiny's okay, as the referee gives a warning, and a deserving soul warning, to the sugar daddy. Oh, there's Aussie Joe. What's he doing in the ring? Oh, there's Summer T. Would you please stop? Maybe he doesn't have the money to get him playing like you do. Wait a minute. Whoa. Is this a is this the Australian? Hey, wait a minute. You're, that guy's 51 years old. Man, is this the Australian strip tease? What's going on here? That's the heavyweight Aussie Joe Bugner. Oh, and Sugar Daddy getting fresh with the champ. Well, hold on a second now. Sweet. Uh, hold on, Sugar Daddy. Oh, oh right in. Right in. And down he goes. Down goes Sugar Daddy. Down goes Sugar Daddy. There he is, Ava Howard Cosell. Calling the fight between George Foreman and Joe Frazier. We just saw Joe Bugner knock down well, the Sugar Dead. Obviously, he still got it, man. You know, like the old saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And the Sugar Daddy fell pretty hard. I'll tell you what, Aussie Joe still has that quick right hand. And it's a heavy right hand. Yeah, I think, I think the Sugar Daddy's a little embarrassed. <laughs> the Sugar Daddy. I know I'd be embarrassed if a 51-year-old man knocked me down like that. I'd be more embarrassed a 500-pound man fell like that. My <laughs> God. Oh, ducked under. Oh, suplex. What a move. That could be this all, This could folks. be it. One, One two. two. Oh, she kicked out. I can't believe it. There we go. Randy Wine fired, digging down deep. What that was a, a good maneuver. Tremendous, tremendous suplex. Another suplex. Belly to back. Inverted. There you go now, Brandy Wine. Quit talking to the people. Quit talking to them and wrestle. I told you. She, oh, she hesitated. Oh, it took cost too her. long. Took too long. And now she has to pay the price. Brandy Wine, of course, jumping up quick. Head, like you said, and that's the second time you've called it. They're they're gloating with the crowd, and that equals nothing but disaster in the wrestling. Room. Now there we go again. One more example. I'm telling you, she's spending too much time showboating. And all that's going to do is get you in trouble. I like that shit. Like I said, here we go. Oh, right to the sternum. Again. She's going to slam her off the top. No, Wait no, she's climbing to the top. She's going to give her a superplex off the top rope. Hold on I've never seen women do this. Oh, no, Bob Orton. Oh. My God. Turn out the lights. This party's over. Cover. Is this going to be it? You think she's going to kick out? I can't see her getting out of this one. Two. There it is. That's it. There is your winner, folks. Sweet Destiny using the superplex off the top rope. What'd you think of that, high risk maneuver? I thought that was awesome. I am really impressed. I didn't know that uh, these lady wrestlers were going for those high risk maneuvers. And you thought all it was going to be was a hair pulling contest. Well, I have to admit, I was I was surprised. I was too. And as were the fans on ringside, as they seemed to enjoy it, cheering for Sweet Destiny, your winner. And uh, maybe this evens the score, if you will, between these two hater rivals. Uh, somehow I don't believe that it's over. Well, Ted, let me ask you this. You've been around wrestling for a while. Do these girls fit in with some of the greats that have been around? Oh, definitely. Uh, these girls can compete. I mean, you know, the, as time goes on, they, you name a sport, 
Uh, the athletes just keep getting stronger and faster. And like I said, I'm surprised to see these girls doing some of the high risk, high risk maneuvers that you see a lot of the men doing today. Not to say that they can't. I mean, why not? But you just never see it. Doing it and doing it well, might I add. Brandi Wine still arguing with the referee. She thinks she was robbed. I'm telling you, she, she beat herself by doing all that primping and prima donna and, and uh, you know, showboating in front of the crowd. It's yes. her own fault. Now, that's what she's really mad about. She knows she blew it by not keeping her eyes on her opponent. If she gloated too much, and look what happened. There was the result. You know, maybe it's a blonde thing. Okay, take us back, Ted. Let's go through this bout once again. Let's take a look at the action. Here we go. There's that hair whip. I tell you what, I, I had it from the beginning. They use that hair as a weapon. Another flying mare by the hair. Here we go again. One, two, three times. There's that flying body press off the second rope. And Tweet Destiny goes ahead to finish this match off and win it with a superplex off the top rope. And very well done. Yes, it was a very good match, Ted. I tell you what, I Generation Wrestling giving us female action. And this capacity crowd here in Sydney, Australia loves it.